this right here is a really special laptop. This is the ASUS ZenBook S13 OLED, and for those of you who are keeping up with the latest in tech, you might already kind of know what makes this so special. Now ASUS makes great laptops, especially their ZenBook lineup in the thin and light form factor. Add on the fact that they are now pushing OLED onto basically every model they can, it just makes for a really great user experience. This S13 OLED is no exception and it's been a joy to use. The overall design, the display, the keyboard, amongst many other things. But those are all things that you can also find in other ZenBook laptops. So what is it that makes this special? You can tell just from these red stickers here. This laptop packs the new Ryzen 7 6800U, which is built on the latest Zen 3 Plus architecture featuring 8 cores and 16 threads. With that also comes support for new features such as DDR5 and more. But the CPU is but just an incremental upgrade over the previous 5000 series, which was already really great. The actual improvement comes from the integrated graphics side of things. For the 6000 series, gone is the old Vega graphics that couldn't really compete with Intel's integrated Iris XE, and it's now been replaced with RDNA 2 graphics. For the Ryzen 6800U, that will be the Radeon 680M. So let's start by talking about performance because that is the special ingredient here. But before that, let's quickly go through the specs. Ryzen 7 6800U with the integrated Radeon 680M, 16GB of LPDDR5 RAM and 1TB of PCIe Gen 4 SSD. We start off with Cinebench R23, as usual, and as mentioned earlier, the new Zen 3 Plus architecture is just a slight upgrade as compared to Zen 3, but nevertheless, great to have. You can expect anywhere from a 10 to 15% improvement over the previous generation, and it now goes toe to toe with the latest from Intel, such as the Core i7-1260P. We then talk about DaVinci Resolve, and this is definitely quite the improvement, and it's now keeping up with the likes of Intel. Now of course, we still wouldn't recommend using this to constantly work on 4K edits and as such, but the occasional 1080p edit will still be fine. But personally, the most exciting portion is all about the integrated graphics, the Radeon 680M. So if that's it, let's talk about gaming. We tested our usual suite of games for laptops of this caliber at both the native resolution of 2880x1800 as well as the more common 1920x1080. Goes without saying that at 1080p, gaming was certainly fantastic and this is one of the few thin and light laptops out there that we can confidently say is able to tackle 1080p high settings for the most popular of games such as Valorant, CSGO and much more. You're going to get a really enjoyable experience with frame rates well above 60 or even 100. At the native resolution, performance definitely drops a fair bit and that's totally understandable. But even so, in games like Valorant, it is actually still very much playable and it can still achieve frame rates nearing 100. To top it off, thermals and noise levels are well under control, under load. Temperatures barely hit 80 degrees Celsius no matter the workload, and the fans, while audible, definitely aren't loud at all. It's really reasonable. So you have seen the numbers. It is really impressive. You are getting that amount of performance in a chassis that's really thin and light that you can easily take around anywhere. It's kind of crazy when you think about it, but to top that off, battery life is also really good. Throughout our testing, we could achieve a solid 8 hours or more of battery life on the balanced profile with actual real world usage. So we are talking usage of Google Chrome, a little bit of YouTube, documents and more. It's really solid. So in essence, you are not only getting really great performance, but you are getting great battery life as well. Not a combo that happens that often. But of course, that all means nothing if the laptop itself, the ZenBook S13 OLED, isn't great. So let's talk about that. Starting with the design, we have to say that it's fantastic. It's part of the new refreshed look that's also being introduced to the rest of the ZenBook lineup. So you can get this new ponder blue colour that looks stunning, alongside the new ASUS Monogram Arrow logo on the lid which makes for a really clean aesthetic. It's also really light, coming in at just about 1.1kg or about 2.43 pounds. And despite the thin frame, you're still gonna get a webcam up top. As for the webcam, it's a HD webcam which means a 720p image. And overall, it's definitely not the best out there but still very usable. Microphones on the other hand was actually a genuine surprise. It's pretty great, your voice comes off really full sounding and it's just clear. This is great. On the other hand, the camera also doesn't support any form of facial recognition via Windows Hello. So. All in all, it's just a really basic webcam, albeit with a really good microphone. 
But the best part about this laptop, apart from the specifications and performance, would be this OLED display. ASUS has gone ahead and increased the aspect ratio to 16x10 this time around, which is definitely a nice touch. So you're getting a 13.3 inch 2.8K OLED display with a resolution of 2880 by 1800 at 60Hz, support for 10-bit color with 100% DCI-P3 with a delta E of less than 2, and a 550 nits peak brightness. It is also HDR True Black 500 capable and Pantone validated. Basically, it's a fantastic OLED display and you can really enjoy all your content on it. To that extent, creating content on it is equally as stellar. As for the keyboard itself, it's fine for the most part. Really comfortable to type on, it's of a good size for a 13 inch laptop and a power button also acts as the fingerprint reader. As for the trackpad, it's par for the cost as with other Zenbooks and this also features the digital numpad should you need one in a pinch. Speakers wise, they are located on the bottom and they fire off to the sides. They do sound alright but nothing fantastic, it gets the job done. But now we have to talk about things that aren't as great, starting with the ports. You only get 3 USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C ports, as well as the 3.5mm combo jack. That's it. To add on, because this is an AMD powered laptop, those ports aren't Thunderbolt 4 capable. Overall, a little bit of a bummer. You'll definitely have to bring around dongles and adapters with this laptop. The other downside would be upgradability. Now, first of all, you will need to rip off the fit in order to get access to the screws, which isn't great. And secondly, you can only really change the SSD and Wi-Fi card. The rest is soldered on. Now at this moment in time, we don't really have the exact pricing for the retail unit per se, especially here in Singapore. But this particular configuration should set you back roughly 1500 US dollars, while the entry point with the Ryzen 5 should start at just about 1000 US dollars. Overall however, we have to say that this has been a fantastic experience and it's a really great laptop. If you're on the market looking for a thin and light laptop that has the performance, a beautiful display, relatively good keyboard and trackpad, and best of all, great battery life, this should be in your consideration. AMD is really kicking things up a notch. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. If you'd like to, do check out the affiliate links as well. If you do, thanks for the support. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Till the next one. See ya!